then. Okay then, uh, hello everyone, welcome, uh, I think this is chapter 4 of the second mission. So, uh, here we are, cuddling next to the uh, very camouflage tank. From the ground level, probably can't see where it is, from above probably stands out like a son of a bitch. Thanks, Severus. It's totally camouflaged, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh-huh. So, um, since the other two aren't here at the moment, just yet, uh, uh, probably sometime during the night when we're changing shifts, I'm uh, gonna stay up another 15 minutes going to Jeff's shift to uh, talk to him about the new Psyker. Hello, sad. We were just talking about you. <laughs> I'm here. Sorry. You speak I... of the devil. <laughs> no, right. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I overslept. But yeah, I'm here. Oh, yay. Well, I, I actually didn't oversleep. I'm happy to say. I ended up uh, just waking up later than I usually do. So I didn't oversleep. At least that didn't happen. <laughs> so Found some things to do before I came here, though. So, Jeff, what do you think? Um, it's a psyker. Yes, I noticed. Um, can't say anything, but looking to the previous one, it seems to be more stable. But we should be careful. I don't know. First impression, it's really stupid and practically filled to the brim with heresy at a glance. So... I'll let you know, my intelligence is above 40, okay? Just saying. <laughs> Excuse me, this is a private know, conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but meta, metaphorically, yeah. In meta terms. <laughs> they don't care about it metaphorically. <laughs> I... Uh, we could at least wait for a while, see if he does stupid things like the previous one. If he does, we kill on the first one instead of just allowing to leave him to leave and thinking that he will get better. This one isn't an inquisitorial acolyte, and we do have the rosette now. So we could just shoot him, in theory. I'm afraid that we might need more hands. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, we where we do, we should keep him. I just mean, yeah, with the here we had to put up with him because our bosses wanted him to, you know, work with us and we had to make an effort. Oh, yes. Uh, first sign of trouble, uh, blast his head off. I agree. Glad I'm a valuable member of the team. <laughs> hey, you're highly respected. In the morning, uh, I don't know which of us is up first, but uh, first thing in the morning, I would want to actually speak with uh, Magnus. Uh, does anyone wish to be staying awake during the night, or anything of that sort? Um, I still need to sleep. I think we just take shit. Technically, shifts. you are correct. <laughs> if I... From the tank, yeah, I think can I just stay awake? Shifts. Yeah. One of the trusted uh, members of the team is awake at all times. So, just to quickly remind you guys... There's going to be about three things you need to remember. One, you do need to eat food and things like that. It's not going to be too big of a deal for a little bit because they put a bunch of provisions in your carrier. Uh, but uh, other than that, you're you going forget, to, have to find something epic. To do about that. We have probably like whatever 
backup rations we secreted in the tank itself because actually we probably have a fair bit in the tank because I just remembered Cormac is paranoid and he would have worried about the lightly armored APC getting blown to shit like happened. <laughs> Well, okay. Uh, yeah, I could totally think of him putting some food and stuff in there, but it is you're go you're okay for the moment, but it is going to be an issue uh, the more time passes. We'll just eat the psyker. <laughs> uh, besides that, uh, you guys do need to decide how you're going to end up sleeping and such because. Night attacks could be a thing by various either creatures and or just enemies. Yeah. And thirdly, heresy. you guys actually, two of you actually do have the capabilities of staying awake for multiple nights without too much of an issue. Just straight up. Uh, using meditation or in the tech priest case, plugging into the tank socket. <laughs> socket. I, I think uh, Jeff would stay awake all the time on the first two nights because we don't trust the new guy that much yet. It will start causing issues if you keep going with it, but for a few nights you should be fine. I think in that Just... case, we Jeff can stay awake and uh, uh, Cormac's gonna probably take like the first shift then the other two can take the, you know, Next two shifts, essentially, we always have two trusted members awake then for the first night. All right. <laughs> so then, you can continue your role-playing with each other about uh, this mysterious psyker that somehow managed to survive the bombardment of the apparently port suffering. Yeah. Port suffering. <laughs> In the morning, unless someone has objections, I'm just gonna kick the psyker awake standing over him with the ration pack. Ow, damn it. Not too hard, and Cormac's a bit of a wimp. But, you know, enough to be felt, a less than gentle nudge with the boot. Sure. Why not? Ah. Hey, you want some Five breakfast? Five more minutes. I mean, if you don't want to eat, that's fine. Uh, yes. Thank you. I'm gonna sit down next to him, and as he's eating, I'm gonna ask a few more questions. So, uh... Magnus. Uh... That's an interesting name. Where do you come by it? I <laughs> think my mother gave it to me when I was born, presumably. Your mother named you after one of the nine demons. <laughs> I had no part in that, just saying. We never, we don't choose our fate. Oh god. Out of character, I had no idea that was a fucking demon name. I'm just gonna pull out the sanctified sword and gonna just gently press it against his cheek to see if any smoke comes out. Well, it doesn't seem to be a reaction. Sad, you feel a sting on your cheek. With the flat of it! <laughs> Are Are you trained in swords? <laughs> I am. I have basic weapons. Uh, uh, for, okay, or not the basic. Primitive. Well, not basic, Darn but it. melee. <laughs> it, it's built into the priest class. Oh, uh, that's right. I forgot uh, for a moment. Oh, well. I really wanted him to start bleeding from the cheek, but it's alright. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it hasn't been space, be for it. like 10,000 years, Jackalore, actually. If you could not touch the face, that would be great. So, <laughs> on to the second question. What can you actually do? Uh, serve the Emperor faithfully, of course. In whatever yeah. means necessary. Yes, yes, we did that part yesterday. I mean, you're a psyker. What can you actually do with that? Uh, psyching? Did you ever go <laughs> through your fucking powers? Did you? Uh, I can heal. That's a useful shit. thing for a psyker. Okay, anything else? I mean... I can unnaturally, I'm an unnatural, um, shot. Yeah. If you catch my drift. Don't do that unless shit is really going down. We had a psyker who did that in every battle. It's not a good idea. Duly noted. Keep going. Anything else? I am an... Also, an unnatural dodger. If you catch my drift. Your curve up is right. Uh huh, uh huh. Alright. Right. Go on. Uh, I suppose that's all the powers I've unlocked, that my mind has unlocked for now. checking sheet profusely <laughs> you had more than that i think we had five minor powers picked out for you you might not have written all of them down but you should have five or s i think we should you should have five because you had uh brain brain brain, oh, brain. i also have a uh, spectral hands <laughs> same character uh, let's see here. Speckle of Hands and... What was it called? Uh, uh, Psychon... Ah, Chameleon. There go. You didn't pick up oh, the... What about the weapons jam thing? Did you ever pick that up? Uh, no. Ah. Healer, unnatural aim, spectral hands, chameleon, and sense presence. Yep. Uh, I'm just letting you freely make whatever assumptions you want, uh, as it has to do everything with your experiences with psychers and not your knowledge of them. Just so you know, Cormac. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know whether that would be perception or fellowship. Well, uh, I'm, I'm I'll let it auto-pass. Basically, it's as hinky-dink as talking to any psyker. So it is picking off of your heresy signals, but it's not really, uh, like, you know, hmm. Well, this is a definite problem. It's more of a, well... Now, while the others uh, do their morning routines, join me in a prayer, Magnus. And I'm gonna lead him in a prayer to guard us from the perils of the warp, oh dear Emperor, with a rousing song, no less. So... <laughs> this is the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he's leading it, but <laughs> uh, let me go check your player sheet over here. As I suspected, um, <laughs> what troll? Magnus, is... make me a fellowship check. 
you'll end up with a plus yeah, 10, but it should have been a lot higher. Let me put it that way. I don't yeah. expect him to the succeed on the first try. I am gonna drill him every morning until I pound the Imperial Creed through his skull! That sounded vaguely sexual, but alright. <laughs> you are... I was half contemplating forcing you to be a flagellant. I am not whipping you yet. That comes after the first fuck up. So, um, I hate to tell you this, but it appears that, uh, while he's trying to follow your lead on this matter, uh, he doesn't seem to quite, uh, get what you're actually saying. Like, uh, he goes, the mighty one in the sun, and... <laughs> Oh, he just keeps one in the stumbling sun. over every little piece. Pra praise the sun. Smack across the face? No. Oh. This is the line. <laughs> Repeat it again. Uh, <laughs> Who provides us with the earth? No. Praise the sun, you mother. <laughs> and that, that's going to be your morning. He's just going to keep trying to follow your lead, and yet obviously has no idea what the fuck you're doing. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, the no, Emperor's no, Mercy no, is uh, achieved through pain, and I will provide plenty of pain to motivate him. <laughs> Fun. You receive one point of damage for your morning activity, Sad. <laughs> Man. Now, the it here was, it, at it this point, worse with a tougher priest, but apparently he's pretty weak. So, I'm doing it more for emphasis than you know to cause a great deal of harm as well. It's if just... you hit somebody 150 times for emphasis, yes, yes. <laughs> no, that's... now the here at this point would go. I use a war power to heal myself. I leave it up to you whether you want to follow his example. <laughs> By the way, the Inquisition ended up killing the here. Well. <laughs> I'll do nothing for now. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the best choice. Maybe not, though. Who knows? <laughs> so, you have any equipment you managed to save? Uh, I have a uh, light carapace armor that I managed to uh, save. Oh, that's Along good. With some basic weapons. Perfect. How are your munitions? Uh, at least uh, over a hundred rounds for my stub pistol. Not before, I think it is. Or, he end, you ended, he ended up buying a Carnadon Jackalor with a collapsible stock and a laser sight. Oh. The good weapon. Yes. Well, uh, that's good. Uh, I, I don't. A couple of thrones with me. That matters. No, no that's uh, good. Uh, we have a uh, great deal of weaponry. With us, I'm not sure how we are on armor. We might have one set somewhere, but it, it's good that you have your own. And uh, you need a heavier weapon. Uh, I think we have some uh, combat shotguns still lying around. At least I, we uh, we have at least one spare one. I think there's some bolt pistols if you know how to use one. Um. Uh, Actually, gonna go into the tank and uh, come out and just immediately give him like three flame grenades and a micro bead so we can at least talk to him. Mm -hmm. Just so you are aware, uh, there is some heavy jamming going on around everywhere, uh, as it has been going on. It has reduced the effectiveness of your micro beads by half at the current point. Uh, but Jeff can probably fix that up without too much of an issue. Okay. I just show him what our uh, 
you know, primary backup and backup, backup, and oh shit, paranoia kicking in, backup <laughs> frequencies are... Exactly. <laughs> Impressive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, if we need to talk privately, we try to, without attracting too much attention, seal our helmets, and then we just, uh, speak, uh, through these. Uh, I'm not sure I, what... I know what micro means are. Yes, yes, good. Um, I, I've used them before. Are you giving me lip, boy? <laughs> no, sir. I'm simply stating the facts of the situation at hand. No, uh, I don't know what kind of a stubber you have, and I don't know whether you are, uh, whether the ammo would be compatible. But if it is, uh, we do have some anti-demon and uh, armor-piercing rounds that some of us are using. Uh, do you think we'll be facing demons, sir? I didn't on the previous mission, and yet... And I didn't think we were gonna find a uh, Chaos Cult on a the mission before that, and yet we did. It's best to be prepared. Of course. Besides, they work just as well on normies if you, you know, shoot them. I imagine so. Uh, anything else I should know? Uh, I don't know. Is there anything you need? Uh, we have some... I think we still have some drugs, but you probably shouldn't use those. After spending quite some time here, uh, I think this breakfast is good enough for me for now. Yay. Good. Good, 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 good. Now then, I lead him inside the tank and get him to uh, help with reloading the gun. Like the main battle cannon, because apparently no one had done that. Show him the uh, positions, etc. Those are the heavy side bolters. Uh, not sure they're gonna be much use against the tanks, but uh, they chewed up the tracks of one of the lighter vehicles pretty nicely, and well, yeah, yeah, the blah blah. No, I need more detail. I need copious amounts of detail. Okay, that is the main uh, main battle cannon. Uh, if if we decide that situation is bad enough, we might let you uh, go up there and use your powers to shoot that. Uh, don't break it. With your, you know, psyker bullshit. Uh, don't harm any of our machines or machine spirits because that would be bad. And I think Jeff might practice his medicine skills on you if you did, and I would let him. I see. Uh, that's the driver's seat. Uh, can you drive? Like one of these. Uh, no. Okay. Okay, so you're either gonna be uh, manning one of the uh, bolters or the main gun? Probably. Okay. Well. I suppose you... somebody has to. So I take it you don't have any other idea about what is going on on this planet? Other than, you know, the port suffering getting bombed. I've only tried to manage to survive and stay out of view. I know what has happened. Uh, you have seen one weird aspect ever since. Uh, there has been things flying around in the air. You never got a really good look or anything like that, but uh, stuff's been going on. It's just that you're not sure you want to go and check it out. Yes, exactly. Things flying, things like animals beating their wings in the air, or like flyers? Um, you never got too good of a look, uh, but sad you do, uh, rem they were particularly glinty. Some of them were super small, though, 
at least from what you could tell. I suppose they were somewhat glinty, but I never got a good view. So, I don't know. Okay. Okay, good. I think we might want to keep heading towards what's left of Fort Suffering then, unless you have a better town in mind that uh, we could visit. I think the fir I think the better question is, what is your mission? I suppose our mission at this point. I'm sorry, I think that's all I need to know. All you need to know is that I think you I are in as I went to a guide. <sighs> Just saying. But I suppose you are my superior. I can't tell you this. The first step is figuring out what the fuck happened. What with the bombing of Port, uh, port Suffering. And uh, the bullshit that's been going on in general. What is what? What towns do I know about? You don't know of many because you just be, you were only supposed to be at what Fort Suffering the, for a little bit. Do I at least? I mean, I've been spent like in this place like like for several years, I guess. So I, yep. I would know at least a bit like somewhat the area, right? How to maneuver? Yeah, right totally. And guy. you did actually go to a nearby town. It was on fire. Uh. So you didn't well, approach too much after settlement. seeing that, so... <laughs> right, right. What's the nearest settlement from where we are currently? Uh, well, there was uh, several campgrounds nearby. Well, nearby being relative, you know. Um, but within a good, you know, couple hours ride. But um, in the time you've been around, you haven't really seen people nearby. Anything else of note? Of note? Ah, uh, you've got some stragglers uh, around, but generally they try and get uh, away before anything happens. Where do, like, so there's still people around. It's just that uh, a lot of you are just trying to stop from being noticed. So seems legit. Hey, so. Once we uh, recover your, and I assume we're traveling as we uh, there's a problem. go. Um, once we recover your weapons, and I see that you're using a card down, I'm gonna give you a hundred and fifty uh, manstopper rounds for the carnadon, and thirty holy manstopper rounds for the carnadon. Uh, they function exactly the same against the normies, but the manstopper ones are essentially, you know, well, they're better against demons. They cut through their supernatural bullshit. They don't get, oh, for example, demons sometimes have super uh, unnatural toughness or whatever. Yeah. And that can make them really hard to hurt. That like doubles their toughness stat. It doesn't work on uh, holy weapons. I'm seeing that you have a fire selector because I think we bought one for you. I'm going to recommend that you uh, keep two clips loaded with regular man stoppers and keep the holy rounds in the third one at all times. Mm -hmm. And that way, when something spawns in our face, we can just go, SURPRISE, MOTHERFUCKER! <laughs> so are the man stopper rounds like the regular rounds, or is that special? Or that is special. Something? They increase the penetration of the weapon by three. So they're good for piercing armor. Okay. So that will... Okay. When shooting with man stoppers, the uh, pandon has a penetration of five. Which is comparable to bolt weapons. Alright, we're good. Uh, I don't think you're good, but good luck with it. 
Holy shit, what was that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Uh <laughs> Well, uh, unless you have, assuming that we're all in the tank at this point, they're getting this stuff. Guys, uh, I think this uh, burning down that uh, Magnus here mentioned might be our closest target. We might as well go up there, uh, leave one of us with the tank maybe. About I volunteer. I was thinking Kraxen. Maybe. Alright. But, I don't know, I think we might want to stop a few miles out and send someone in to scout. Actually, that's a hard... ...question, cause Severus functions best when Jeff is nearby, and Jeff is kind of noticeable. And, ah, oh, this is a bad idea, but we'll figure it out when we get there. I'm sure the Emperor will guide us. I do have training in survival and navigation, sir. Oh, God, some of these are horrifying. It's amazing. Uh, that's I good, but... Use. I was gonna try and sneak up to the town and see what's going on in there and possibly, you know, try to walk in there, talk to people, stupid things like that. Uh, it doesn't appear to be on fire anymore in that town, at least. Uh, want to make me a... what's best here? I think we stay a couple miles off and I I think we send Severus up ahead because he's competent to take a very careful look okay. and stay within I'll micro B range. Make me a luck roll. Who wishes to do it? Uh, is this for the drive or the actual sneaking up closer after we park? Uh, this will be for the sneaking up closer. Then the, if Jack the drive, I'm going to hand wave and say it's all right. So if Jack is the one going up closer, then that's his role by all rights. Okay, 1d100, right? Uh, I have a luck thing too if you want to use it, but yes. Oh. I don't see a luck thing. There's... Uh, lower high good, guys. Okay, Jacklor, I'm going to save you from yourself. What do you want to pick? Oh, I, I didn't have it all players. There. Didn't realize I didn't have it there. It's my good. <laughs> hey! Damn. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> I said high is good. He did. Oh, he, he did? It. Verify it real quick. Did he, I he did. Didn't hear he, did. It, but... he did. You were too okay. busy talking to yourself about the macro, but he definitely did. Okay, good. That's very good. You come to an abandoned town. <laughs> it doesn't appear there's anyone here. It is the good option. <laughs> yeah, like if a hundred is, you see, you find nothing, then that's, that's not that's great for boating. Oh no, it's not that he finds nothing. He finds nothing of current interest. There doesn't appear to be any danger or anything like that. If he wants he can sneak further in. Sure, I'll do a, sh a silent move roll. Uh, Jackalor. Important point, uh, yeah. I did suggest that you stay within combat range, so if you, it, this will take you out of that. Oh. It will take him out of com, uh, combat range, let's, uh, particularly let's... because uh, Jeff needs to see about fixing up through the jamming. Let's wait for that, then. Yeah, then. <laughs> we can... We consult in the tank and adjust the combeats and... <sighs> Alright, Jeff, you're up. We need tech use tests. <laughs> Particularly one, really, but... Okay. Tech use. 
Uh, it's still broken, right? I think so. You can give it a shot if you want. Thank you. Thank you. Some yeah. good stuff. Yep, broken. Well, um, while Jeff is doing that, uh, gentlemen, uh, my idea would be to try and discreetly reconnaissance the town, and if it really is empty, maybe see what we can find from any records that might have survived in there, maybe look for any supplies or munitions, uh, if we knew a place, for example, where tank shells for the main gun were kept, that would be good. That's 8 degrees bacon. No, yeah, oh. I thought it was a uh, 42. Oh, that's good. So, hmm. Uh, with that roll, Jeff, you can tell that whatever is doing the jamming is super good at its job, apparently. Like, uh, super good at its job. Uh, you barely made any headway, actually. So, it's on the uh, Tech Breeze Secret intelligence, Artificial Intelligence level. Yeah. Yeah, it appears to be so. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it myself, but... Let me guess, it's rolled a two. Uh, whatever is blocking the, it's jamming the comms, it's something very good. I think we may be dealing with tech heresy. I see. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, you, you could actually only barely be able to even tell that maybe if you keep working on it, you could probably get through it. But it doesn't look that, uh, it doesn't look good to do it in a small amount of time. Okay, I have an important question. Does anyone have monoculars? Because I'm thinking it might be prudent to wait at least until nightfall and see if we see any movement inside the town from a distance before moving in. I don't think I have any. None here. I assume the Auspex headset would help a little, but not as much as a dedicated, you know. Yeah. It's better than nothing. Uh, well, I don't know about you, gentlemen, but... Uh, my plan would be to have Jeff see if he can do anything about the jamming, and maybe if he can do any repairs on the damage that tank took in the fight, and we keep an eye on the town, see if there's any movement over there that reveals itself, and wait until nightfall, and then we can take a peek then. Sounds logical. Yes, I agree. Are you picking up any uh, bad vibes, Magnus? Allow me 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, he'll give you 10 seconds. Unfortunately, it seems they're trying to rush it so much might interfere. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Uh, well. Just take uh, your time. Well. Uh, 
Do it right instead of forcing it. Do it safely, but see what but, you can sense. But it's a dramatic moment, man. It's a dramatic moment, come on. We had one dramatic psyker. Our tolerance for dramatic psychers is all used up, Magnus. Don't be a dramatic psyker, please. Okay, I'll take my time. <laughs> Sigh. Fucking children. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, why can't you let me be myself? God. Let me rip out the open, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't understand me. Nobody does. Who's that right. guy? <laughs> uh, so, I guess I'll take, like, uh, I don't know. Like. Alright. I mean, like this, minutes, it might be, so. like, little short of noon maybe when we pull up maybe by the time Severus comes back little after so if we're moving in at nightfall <laughs> feel free to take a couple of hours if you need to all right so i think i got I most gonna... everything that i needed to have up to know how to handle this so i'll need a lot of information off you bacon how are you going about things it is a command tank, but they removed most of the electronics. Are there any... Is there any signal equipment still left in it? Yeah, there's still signal equipment in it. Maybe you can use some of that stuff. Yeah, I will probably connect to the tank, put the connecty micro bits to it and trying to see what the interference is and try to bypass it. Uh, the interference, uh, once you start looking into it, actually make me a tech use test. Make me like two. Uh, you hear a the voice. second one yeah the second one is getting an additional plus 20. no plus 20. yeah bacon hears a voice inside his head in binary ah an uncorrupted one i found you <laughs> all right well that's 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 good uh let's see compare it to this thing yeah you can't tell what's jamming you uh, it's probably something very widespread, though. They're probably not targeting you or anything like that. That's all you'll get off that, though. The other one, on the other hand, uh, let's see, you got that. You made a very good headway in augmenting the tanks, com what's left of its command module to try and help boost the signals of your comm feeds, but it's actually still not quite enough. You're at about 75% effectiveness. No, oh, it's somewhat better, at least. And we have to have the tank nearby to benefit from that anyway, I assume. Mm -hmm. yeah. It will be able to affect your comm beads within a good about five miles, but the combeats only have a limit of about, like, only, like, 75% of a kilometer, I think. So, 750 meters. That's decent-ish for most tactical situations. If they are being boosted by the tank, what about the combeats linked back to the tank? The combeats to the tank uh, could be used uh, further. Uh, but that's mostly it managing to pick up better. You can get about two kilometers out. If you fix it all up, probably about three. If you just talk directly to the tank. We have a spare combi. Cannibalize that. Turn the tank into just like a makeshift command center bacon. It's the best choice. Maybe yeah. you can even hypercharge the transmission... Uh, range for that combi and we can just have like a pair of people like a driver and a guy to man the guns in the tank while the rest going on foot 
think I can do that. Uh, anything extra for the roll or penalties? Uh, for this, uh, we're going to put your new use into things. Uh, to try and boost the combine, it's just going to be a regular tech use. Uh, to integrate it into the command module, make me a tech right. Uh, it will be fairly difficult because it's really complicated equipment. Minus 10. Not like super difficult, but fair. And you have all your other stuff to have the knowledge on it. So you should be good. Okay, so first, uh, the grating or boosting. This would be with the 50 people row. Now you the... did really good. Uh, it seems that you did manage to successfully boost it pretty damn good. It would no. probably not work if you weren't putting it into the command module, though. Now for uh, integrating, it would be straight right, so strength. This will uh, this will actually be intelligence based, straight oh. right. Okay. So, as it has more to do with integrating with complicated systems than with actually just preparing the tank or something. Mm -hmm. Would my utility mechanism right apply? Uh, it will, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think it's the only one that could be useful in this situation. So I get plus 10 in total. All right. Uh, you wish to spend uh, the fate point, right? Yeah. Yeah, fate point to get one more degree and succeed. Yeah, that'd be correct. That is what we allow, right? We, uh, sure we I allow. think we might have allowed a bare success if you failed within your attribute bonus. I think he failed within his attribute bonus. Yeah, he yeah, did. he did. So yeah, if you want to, you can get a bare success on that. Yeah, I get the bare success. All right, decrease one fate point. He has successfully integrated the com link and he boosted it. Uh, it might end up kidding out if you, you know, jingle it a bunch, but with how the command tank is set up, that's pretty unlikely. Okay, so here, makeshift radio command. And with the boost, he has managed to get the signal powerful enough that you can get out to about four kilometers from the tank and still communicate. Okay. The only issue actually is that the com beads don't seem to be as good at uh, picking up the signal the other way, but you, you can totally send it back to the tank pretty easy. Uh, really? I yeah, it doesn't make make... Uh, the difference is basically between three kilometers and four kilometers. The boost lets him pick it up further out, but you guys can only communicate a little bit shorter. Ah, so yeah. essentially he boosted more the gain on it than the uh, transmission. Yes. That's how it ended up going. Okay. That should be good. Do we need to make any rolls for uh, watching the uh, town during the day? Nope. Uh, I will need rolls for repairing the tank, if that's what you want to do, though. Oh, repair. Okay, my new tray. This one is strength-based, right? Uh, well, I need to know. How are you going about repairing it? Uh, Probably uh, just strengthening the damaged parts. Uh, maybe. 
we have the the, uh, the other thing was destroyed, right? Uh, the other, uh, the other piece was gone. Yes. We the so. APC we just ditched. Oh. Honestly, yeah, so no... I would say try to weld any obvious cracks closed, etc. Yeah, he, just... just... he will straighten the bended parts and try to weld everything back together. Okay, did we record anywhere the health of your vehicle? I think you yep, are I keeping have it over track, here. Of, track of it. We... Yep, I knew I was keeping it somewhere. I found it. Don't... I'll go ahead and put it on the thing itself so I don't end up losing it. That would suck. Um, so we'll put it to the edit here. Note that your structural integrity is this. Five out of... There you go. Now you can tell on your Lehman Roos sheet there. Mm. Oh, whoops. 32. Not seeing it appear in the wounds. Where are you putting it? In the bio and info. No. There's literally a wound tracker thing in the sheet. Why not put it there? Mostly so that I can just keep the thing on the gear instead of looking at the character sheet over here. But that was the only reason. Okay. Because, you know, they're vehicles. I figured it would just be best to keep track of their gear and such more than anything. Not only that, it makes more sense to call it like structural integrity and stuff. It means different things. So, uh, how much do you wish to try and repair? Uh, I try to do anything possible in the time we have. Um, that sounds like so, anything that can be reasonably accomplished without making it worse. Yes. Well... You could you could totally repair the entire thing reasonably. It, considering the time frame that we have, he won't rush anything. Okay, what what kind of uh, how much? Okay, I need to know how much time are you willing to put into this? Uh, I think we're going to be until the next day. Uh, we were gonna wait until the. Uh... Evening before potentially scouting out the town some more. If we don't find anything too suspicious. Okay, then. So then we... until tomorrow afternoon? About then? I think we want to move into the town before then. So before then. Uh... I Essentially, I wanted the cover of Nightfall and we're using the rest of the day. While Jeff works to essentially keep an eye on the place and see if we see any obvious signs of occupancy or stuff moving through there. Ah, so you're just trying to use what's left up of the day. Yes, yes, pretty much. That's the plan. Uh, well, by the point he finishes up the combi and everything, you only have, like, maybe one or two hours. Then, uh, then fuck the repairs for now. Just make sure to weld the trophies on there. Epic said that was, like, ten minutes worth of work. Yeah, he could easily do that. But, uh, he could heal some points, but, uh... It would only be a couple. Okay, I would just wield the scraps that we got, uh, make the tank spiked with uh, other tank spawns. All right. I would use the 13, I suppose. I don't think you need to roll strength just to weld on four I mean, tiny pieces uh, of scrap metal. No, you're fine. I didn't ask him to do anything because I was like, yeah, he can just do that. That's not an issue. <laughs> but it's going to be artistic pieces. <laughs> He's trying to be artistic. Make me your fellowship roll. <laughs> I mean, is it... Normal people artistic or cogboy artistic? Because that might be intelligence. 
Well, presumably, I was basing it off of normal people artistic. <laughs> of which, normal people look at that and go, No. The fuck? <laughs> that little... <laughs> little does DST know that's exactly the effect we're going for. It helps us get surprise rounds. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. So, uh, night then is upon you. What do you wish to do? I think we need to move in and check the place out. I would suggest leaving like Kraxen and can either Kraxen or Jeff drive though? Uh I can't. Don't think Demi picked that up, did he? I think the two people that can drive are you and the uh Jack, if I remember right, Severus. I think I have to go because I have all the forbidden heresy, demonology, and cult lores. I would have the best chance of recognizing any of that bullshit. Yep. All right, go ahead and enter. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna... Actually, Magnus never made his role for Cynesians, and he has been probing... Uh, that is correct. Magnus, back. make me a Cynesians role, and if you spend your time doing it and just trying to do your best, you receive a plus 30. Joy. Uh, let's see here. Just wait. Rolls a one. Ah! Oh, I feel the war power taking me. No. Is that the the sign into the separate thing from the sense presence, right? Or, yes. Or... Yes, that's okay. the, a sign base... is something you can do as any psyker. It's just picking up on okay. fluctuations in the warp or warp nearby and so... such. Is that that's just pure willpower a role then, right? I think it's perception. That's perception based. It's not a power, it's oh. a skill. Okay. Seems legit. Alright. Three. Modifier. Okay. Oh yeah. That's Got six that. degrees. That is six degrees. You look deep what into I, the wall. What do I sense? Finding you're the answers to everything. Life. <laughs> no, you asshole, it's 163. Damn it. <laughs> Life, chaos, order. Wait, what is that I? Oh, no. Uh, there doesn't rain. appear to be anything particularly going on near you. Uh, there is some kind of disturbance on this planet. You're wait, not sure wait, what, wait, though. Wait. You're way too far away, but uh, there is something going on. Any notion of direction, Magnus? Assuming you no, share there, this. It, 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 he really can't tell. It's just way too far. You could just kind of tell it's there. That's only because he did so good. But I do sense a disturbance, right? There is a disturbance in the force. <laughs> yes, exactly. I sense a disturbance <laughs> in the war. Remember? <laughs> Nothing more, though. <laughs> remember this morning when you asked me if I expected trouble with demons? I'm going to upgrade that to prob from probably not to reasonably sure. I think that would be a safe bet. Also, next time, don't fucking jinx it before we know for sure, please. Will do. <sighs> but yeah, I share what I've gained from my uh, sinusins as much as can be gleamed, really. 
Oh, this is really stupid because the team compositions suck all around for this. But I think, based on what I'm seeing here, it might have to be me and Jeff that go in, just based on the knowledge. And we can't even conceal the tank, and I don't want anyone driving off with it. You can trust me. Oh, those I don't want to update. Oh, it cracks it. Okay, I'm going to consult the team. We have two options. We can leave the tank behind with a team capable of driving it in and trying to rescue us if everything goes to shit, in which case those of us who go in on foot are in the middle of a tank battle. Alternatively, we can go in on foot, leaving Kraxon to guard the tank and conceal it. In which case, we're probably in the middle of whatever trouble we would have run into anyway, without the tank. I think we take the tank. You just want to drive into town with the tank? No, I want to think one where you choose the tank as the backup. Mm. Okay, uh... Good, but... Ah, we won't need it. There's chaos bullshit around. And... I'm gonna look Magnus in the eye and just gonna straight up ask him. You're loyal, right? To the Emperor? Of course. No question. I think we leave... Oh, this is so fucking stupid, but Jeff can't stealth at all. He literally makes a fuck ton of noise. Not that I, I can't stealth either. We either have to send in the assassins or... You know? How quietly can we run this tank, Jeff? If we keep it at minimum power and just move in slowly. Um... Not that quiet. I suppose. Epic. That would okay. be the correct term, yes. <laughs> um, the engine is a bit noisy when it's just turned it on. How far away from the town are we where we managed to conceal the thing? Or at least keep are it out you... of here. Uh, by keeping it out, you're, you're a couple kilometers away. Yeah, about two kilometers away. That would be good enough. Okay. There's a couple hills nearby and stuff. They didn't really flatten the land or anything, so we'll go with that. I have a plan. How about a couple of us who have the longest range weapons, which is probably Beacon and Kraxon and... I guess Jeff, go up and take a sniping position somewhere convenient and just keep an eye out and the rest of us drive up the tank within a couple hundred meters of the town edge, see if anything starts shooting at us. See if we you can proceed to do so. See if we can lure people into cross a crossfire. As you get closer and closer, it doesn't appear there's any reaction from the town. I'm gonna micro beat to Jeff. Um, Jeff, uh, 
That's about all I had. Usually we get shot by this point. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's a weird procedure. Uh, how people usually go out on those things. I think we all get into the tank. I think we just do like a sweep. We keep the tank to like the main roads and keep some people in there to back us up with the turrets. Then we start exploring some of the buildings. Everyone good with that? Yeah. It's fine. But uh, it's weird. Usually we already have some demons behind us. I look behind me. Are there demons there? No, doesn't appear so. Just Magnus greeting. <laughs> 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 have, have you met my imaginary friend, Pepe, the demon? I <laughs> don't tempt me. I will shoot you in the head. <laughs> it's just jokes. Why you have to be mad? Okay, I think we're gonna start searching the town and essentially going into the buildings while the tank is there on the street and just covering us with the turret so if shit goes south we can essentially rush into the street and have them run into bolter fire or something and uh we're looking for tech supplies and heresy essentially if we can find any of that hmm good good So, you head off into the town, and nothing happened. It appears to be abandoned. There are various, uh... Exactly. The town passes its turn. Uh, there's, there, there doesn't appear to be anybody here. A lot of the buildings seem to have been burned down or destroyed as you're going into it. Uh... If you wish to check it out, check it you out. can make me some checks on, checks like, perception. On okay. Uh, Do you have, like, search, search or, anything? or anything? I have scrutiny. Yeah, I have search. Scrutiny is not what we're looking for. We want search particularly. Do I get the bonus from my all specs? Yes, you do. Okay, so how much? It's a plus 20. Plus yeah, but that's usually to have grandmas rolls, but yeah, sure. We're going with plus 20 to general perception rolls. <laughs> okay. Uh, mostly, me personally, I'm looking for any weird eye-watering glyphs, uh, signs of uh, improper worship, etc., etc., etc. If there are any such, you know, graffiti sprayed anywhere where we pass through. All right. Would that be perception forbidden lore in that case? Probably, yeah. Would the augurs be helping with this, or am I rolling it flat? Uh, with you trying to find the things, I'll let the re-roll work. Okay. So not the passive. I'm going to take that result. That's good enough. Okay. So you were trying to find anything particularly of that sort, and he was trying to search it in general. Uh, anyone else want to do any searches? I assume Jeff would be look at the best person to figure out where any deck that might have any recordings as what might have happened would be found. And essentially we are what? keeping a couple people in the tank at all times, but we are essentially, you know slowly making our way through and getting out of the tank and going into the buildings next to the street, that kind of thing. Okay. You guys are just going around, trying to find things. Uh, I, I can try perception. Nothing in particular will happen besides you guys making your checks, though, so... Yeah. Can you make one for Crackson? Because he would probably be going out as well. Good point. Craxon, what you got? He has awareness. Oh, that's nice. 
security second uh yeah it's good on some other bits but not those okay how's his perception in general eh yeah not the best but hey I'm presuming he has an auger array, if I remember right, right? He doesn't. I have the auger, but he does have an auspex. I think pretty auspex, much all, my bad. all of us have one because they're so damn useful. Yeah, that means he can just do it at that. All right, so there's that. Okay, I think that's everybody then. Uh, besides Sad, and that's, uh, you want to make a roll as well? Uh, no, I already did my sentence. Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys got it. Well, okay. we are now passing through the town and searching for things, but it does make sense for you to be sitting where someone can see you at all times. He just sits in the tank. Okay. In that case, uh, Draco, you don't manage to actually find anything in particular. Uh, it doesn't look like this town had anything in particularly, you know, of that sort in it. Uh, on the other hand, Severus, you managed to find an intact uh, repair station, actually. Ooh. Well, it looks like there's a good garage, and it's all ready and set up. Would there also be things like fuel there? Uh, maybe. He just found it. Uh, ah. If you guys go and check it out, you'll probably find out. Uh, I'll inform everyone else and go check it out. Wait, Severus, if, if you're going to head deeper into the building, uh, take someone else with you. Don't go alone. Sure, I'll wait for someone else to come around. Yeah, I will go with him. Clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> he can hover. Go inside. Oh, look. It's a nice little garage. A, a very nice little garage, actually. Uh, this sends off some warning. Uh, no, no, not quite yet. I need to ju at least justify it a little bit. The uh, tech priest, make me some common lore mechanicus. Common lore. Give me two. Lore. One at plus 30, one at regular. Uh, would be machine code. The there, right? That's, yeah, probably. You should have common lore mechanicus of some kind, so. Well, yeah, yeah, it's machine cult on the book. Yeah, yeah, machine cult. Same thing. Yeah, it, plus 10, you said? Something like that? Or uh, plus 30 plus and 10. then a regular. I need two oh. of them. Different matters. 30. Wow. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> ah, the second one's not near as good. Ah, well. Uh, if he wants, he can re-roll it. If not, it's up to him. Uh, I only have one fate point left. I don't want to re-roll it. Go right ahead and don't do it. Okay. So, with that roll right there, a total of six successes. No, seven. That's seven. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Yes, it would be just short of eight. Wouldn't eight be four? Oh, you're right. It is just short of eight. Correct. Thank you. That does matter, actually. Okay, so. Uh, so for some reason, you managed to at some point get the exact things that have been coming to and fro from this planet through the Mechanicus. For the last, like, you know, half a century, uh, somehow you've managed to completely retain all information of this as well. Um, so the Mechanicus didn't have much of a presence on this planet. Uh, because they were supposed to keep them from being able to understand things. Uh, nothing oh. like this should be on the planet. 
Oh, okay. Uh, I, I get it. Yeah, totally tech heresy. Jeff, remember, we can't exterminate us this one. We need the combat drugs. Uh, I believe that. I mean, we could all make peace with the tech heresy super AI that controls the planet. So, uh, uh, you just did so good. But it's not the right check. Ah, uh, fuck. Make me a logic roll. You get a plus 60. You should be able to understand this. It's very easy with what you just did. <laughs> Looking the eye to the camera, observing you. <laughs> Wave. That was your logic roll, right? Yes. Good. Uh, six degrees of success. Perfect. You're awesome. So, this appears to be somewhat uh, something that seems to be masquerading as something else. There is probably something else going on with this building than just a repair station. The virus. Let's yes. complete that research this entire place. There's something wrong here. Uh, I guess I can look it over again? Without going inside. Do, do you wish to start assisting Severus? Uh, we're basically going to search everything. You can disassemble stuff on the walls and move everything around. Look for okay, so you're doing whatever you can to try okay. and search this place. If Jeff yeah. is gonna take so long, I'm gonna at some point micro beat him. And if he tells me something is janky, we're just gonna park the tank just face facing directly this building so we can get both the laser cannon and the main gun and the coaxial bolter and just everything pointed at it. And we're just gonna mount the right. guns. Okay, you're ready for anything to happen. Uh, Jeff, as you're going around checking everything out, uh, you find that despite the repair station looking as if it has been fairly used and has been, you know, around for a very long time, as if it's some kind of old repair station, it totally is not. A lot of these are, once you actually, like, start taking off some of the rust and stuff. They're very new. Like, this was made in maybe the last decade, at the latest. I was worried you were going to say, yes, uh, the last 48 hours or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I was not afraid of that. But, yeah. Uh, besides decade. that... Uh, Further information, I will need some search checks. I'll make that check. Uh, yes, yeah, Severus, you start off because Jeff might need a different check in a moment. Uh, so, plus 20 from the all specs, of course. Uh, if Jeff is willing to... Never mind, you're good. You're good. That's plenty good. Good job. Exactly. All right. Severus, while uh, Jeff is moving around items and such, and you're just searching around, you managed to find an outline on the floor. Yes, I knew there was a secret trapdoor. There's always one. Yeah, there's Once always you start trying to find out what's around it, trying to pick at it, things like that, uh, it lifts up just a little bit, and you can take off the tile, and it appears there's some kind of pad underneath it. It has various symbols. You know, if it was anyone other than Severus, what, the moment the hatch starts moving on its own is when you raise the alarm. But, never mind, proceed, Jacklor. 
<laughs> so, Jeff, yeah. you go over there, uh, presumably, as uh, Severus is uh, finding something over hidden in there. Uh, it appears that uh, somebody has put, well, just put it bluntly, it's just a little number pad. Except the numbers on it are not normal. Give me a forbidden lore mechanicus test. Ray, uh, Chris, uh, I hope that you are looking at me because if I throw, uh, I, I am, I, I am fuck. Unless I can see you through the door, no, I'm not. I'm probably manning one of the guns, ready to shoot through the fucking door at whatever is chasing you. Well, you guys around. were messing around with a lot. Do you want to make a luck roll to have opened the main door? <laughs> Yeah. If there's a main door yeah. to be open so we can keep, you know, a direct beat on what's going on, we probably would have. Yeah. Yeah. I know you probably would have, so there's a very likely chance of this, but you guys didn't state it, so I'm going to leave it up to a little bit of luck here. Uh, I did not say anything, so I think you should choose Epic. Uh... I'll let somebody else roll so that they can state it. Yeah. High or low, uh, I'll let the paranoid guy do it. Okay. He's the uh, most likely to have said something, so... Low is good. That is <laughs> nope, wrong. Nope, the door's closed. <laughs> that is... Okay. Wrong. That's not a wrong roll, yes. Oh, that's not even a roll. That's just 100. Okay, yeah. yep, the door's open. Let's I gave it that. like a eighty-five percent chance, so I was like, "Look, most likely it's just open." So there you go; the door is open. They're in view. You can see them going, searching through everything, and then looking oh. at this. Yep, I got it with four degrees. It says zero okay. one zero zero one worship chaos zero one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So with that roll, um. Jeff, these numbers are from before the, you know, the time of uh, the current age, the millennium. This is from the dark age of technology and originates from Mars. Holy shit. Oh. So it's not heresy, it's holy. I have my doubts because that's about the... Like, right after that, the Mechanicum split, so the Chaos, you know, Tech Priest might have kept the script or something? I, 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 this stuff is new, Bacon. This stuff is new, and it's not supposed to be here. What do you think it fucking is? <laughs> if it came from Mars, it's good, okay? So, Bacon, if you wish, uh, you do recognize the script and the symbols and what they could mean. You could make a security check to try and get through here. Huh. Security. I don't have security. I should have. That's most it. unfortunate. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I have security. You might have security, but you don't understand what the symbols mean. You can tell me. Uh, Jeff, do you wish to inform. The the assassin of what the holy scripts mean. Bacon, you could do this and I could just shoot him with the uh, last cannon right after you're done opening it. <laughs> no one needs to know you, he ever knew and it would be purged at that point. I mean, he's a loyal servant. If anything, I can just execute him later. He would understand. Yeah, I, I get the help. I get the help. Alright. So, Bacon, do you do this over the comms? No. Alright, this is gonna take a while while you explain what the fuck is what to the guy. <laughs> oh yeah, secret knowledge. Acquired. Can I roll... Uh, are any of us in a position to overhear? Because we all have auspexes on, and I have the implants. You can attempt to hear it if you wish. 
and I want I to would, hear. <laughs> possible to not be heard for by anyone. Uh, actually, Jackalord, do you have a uh, secret tongue tag? Sadly, no. <laughs> Any okay. uh, positives, negatives know. on the perception roll? Uh, if you really want, you could just set up your comm beads to not go anywhere else but between the two of you. Something could hack into them. It's not safe with crap like this here. There's clearly powerful tech though. <laughs> you can trust uh, me, Bacon. No. Wow, after everything we've been through. My my god is better than your god. My god I pulled the trigger on the main cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not gonna I'm pretty sure Bacon is probably not gonna survive a direct hit from the main battle cannon. <laughs> I just love the fact that I, I had to amend that to probably. Because he we really can't explain. be sure. They will just explain personally. Talking not with combits, and the others can try to understand anything. Okay, yeah. go ahead and make your uh, awareness tests. Uh, this is going to be fairly difficult, but it's only like a minus twenty okay, compared never to your regular mind, rules, I need to so. roll to the right difficulty. I'll take my implant Solomon granted reroll. There we go. So at minus twenty, right? Holy shit! Yep. Yeah, I will keep, keep taking my break. I think I'm already late for leaving anyways. Soon then we would be here, right? Yeah, we'll try and take an extra long break uh, in general here. Okay, I'll be ready. Demi's gonna be a while. He's gonna be at 7.30 for him, so he's gonna be another 45 minutes. Uh... A lot of this is going to depend on uh, your tech priest, though. In case you couldn't tell. <laughs> so, uh, two people. If you wish, uh, based off of this, you may now take Forbidden Lore Mechanicus, but it will be at a significant price of 400 XP. Are you de denoting such an amount of time? So, oh, who can buy? Who can secret blood? Severus and the. Uh, why do I always? I want to call him Colin all the time, but it's Cormac. You know that's actually really tempting. Four hundred, you said. Four hundred, and you can take the. Uh, you know what, I'll actually separate two things. You can either take the basic level at 200, or first rank at 400. But the, the first rank being plus 10, or how do you mean that? First rank being basic level of necessity, but, you know, it's different from having just the basic. It's intelligence based, isn't it? This is like, uh, it would be lore. intelligence based. It is a forbidden lore. Yeah, I won't be taking that. Sorry. <laughs> oh my fucking god! That would be fucking amazing. Just walk up to a bunch of tech priests, flash my fancy implants. Hello, fellow cog boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite, quite, quite what the Forbidden Lore is. But hey, you know what? Sure. Oh, Christ. Ah, oh, well. Offer the current break for a moment. Uh, okay, uh, then I'm gonna split the recording here.